Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about good reverb. Good reverb. Okay, what is reverb? We should all know by now, I hope, is how long a sound stays around in the room after it's been sung, spoken, or played. Kind of overstays its welcome, if we're thinking in, in more, you know, non-technical terms, okay? Stays around too long. What is reverb? Reverb is really a measure of decay. It starts here and it goes here. This is where we want it. This is where it starts and this is where we want it. So it's a, it's a measure of how long that takes, how long that decay process takes, how long it stays in, around in a room after it's been sung, spoken, or played, overstays its welcome. All of those things mean pretty much the same, but this is the more technical side. What is the decay? What is the tail? Well, it's composed of harmonics, right? Multiple orders of harmonics. That's what's in the tail. That's what's so fun to hear. The tone and pitch. The tone and pitch are there too. So that's what you want to hear. So decay is posed of the harmonics and the multiple orders. We want the fundamental maybe and one order of harmonic in our critical listening room. You know, if we have to look at what we're getting versus what we need, that would be a good way to look at it. So in order to do that, we have to mess with the reflections because that's what's causing it. When we think about reflections, I want you to think about absorption immediately for treatment. Diffusion is another option, but it's very limited in its usage generally. It's very limited in its usage in small room acoustics, but very powerful. But you got to kind of know what you're doing. So 90% of the time when you think of reverb, you're going to think about absorption for treatment. So we need some reflected energy in our rooms. We need that input from noise in our environment. We need that, you know, distance. If you walk and talk towards a wall and you get closer to the wall, you'll be able to sense that you're getting closer because of the reflections of your voice off the wall. So we need that. We need that to help us localize, kind of help us determine our spot in the world, if you will. Anechoic chambers are reflection-free environments by definition, so they're not something we want. I've been in one. I made it about 20 minutes. I couldn't take it any longer. Because without that sensory stimulus, you know, you start to get headaches and it disrupts you, so you don't want it. Reflections are localization. I think the process is called spatial recognition. That's what we go by. It's the science of psychoacoustics. Now, quadratic diffusion is another technology that we can use for reverb. Now, what, how does it work? Well, it helps us with non-localization. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me give you an example in our studio in California. Our ceilings were nine foot, two-dimensional quadratic. We put people in a listening chair. We blindfold them, play a few songs. First question. How far away is the ceiling? Now remember, it's nine feet. 11, 12, 13. Got a guess one time of 15 feet. See, and that's what diffusion does. It kind of breaks up a big reflection. This is a simple, and it puts it in a, a lot of smaller reflections. So it's less easy for our brain and hearing mechanism to detect the time signature, the decay of those energies. And that helps us determine distance. So it's hard to, it's also hard to determine distance overhead. We're way better side to side, front to rear than we are overhead. So you ever see people looking up at the sky trying to find a plane, you know, and they're always looking, <laughs> they're always looking at the sound. You know, well, the plane's ahead of the sound, right? So you have to keep that in mind. It's a process. And what diffusion does is it busts that process up. And it helps with non-localization. It's good in our uh, multiple channel rooms. It's good in our two channel rooms. It can be really good in a vocal room sometimes. It can be really good in a live room a lot of times. So it has its benefit, but it's one technology that will help us. So absorption and diffusion are the two technologies we use for reverb. So reverb is good and bad, but we need it but we have to manage it. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.